This player just disappeared right in front of my eyes, and I'm trying to figure out how, because I've been hunting him down for the past three days. This player has a crown that he seems to think makes him the king of the server, and I have two weeks to get it off of him, otherwise he stays that way permanently. I'm gonna kill him and get the crown, and prove that it means nothing. But in order to do that, I need to figure out how they're vanishing. And not before long, an opportunity like this would arrive. Pangy's a streamer. Little known fact, when you're streaming, you can't hear your Discord notification. And when he forgot he was in a call screen sharing, I decided to join up and find his base. Yeah, not my proudest moment. But if I could use this opportunity efficiently, not only could I kill him before the two weeks are up, but I could figure out how he's disappearing from me. Alright, my plan is to get dripstone so I can put it under his AFK spot, and then I can just break the block and he'll fall to his death. And he's gone again. Bro, where is he going? Okay, I'm out of ideas. Of course putting dripstone down wouldn't work. If this guy is actually teleporting, there's no way that he would fall for a stupid trap like that. But you know what? The first trap never works. So of course, I had a backup plan just in case this happened. See, I'm not the only one that's trying to get this crown. In fact, this is basically a server-wide hunt at this point. And it turns out, one of the server members named Zam was a lot closer to solving this mystery than I was. Because he had already infiltrated the team. And with a little bit of payment, I could get him on my side. I was about to finally figure out the mystery behind us all. And it turns out, he has an interpearl stasis chamber that he can activate wirelessly. So, if he's anywhere on the server, he can teleport to that location. But I can't get ahead of myself. Just because I know his trick doesn't mean I'm able to stop him. However, it does give me a couple theories that I can test out. Just like theory one, if I find his stasis, I win. If I find his teleporter and he gets teleported to me, then there's no way for him to get away. But the world is millions of blocks with three different dimensions. The odds of me finding it were absolutely zero. And since I don't have a base of my own, I was starting to feel helpless, grinding quartz in the nether to heal my gear. But while I was doing this helpless singular action, the most promising possible thing that could have happened did. In the distance, I spotted Pangy, the person that I was trying to kill. I knew if I jumped him now, he would just teleport away from me. However, I could see the area that he was coming from. Positive, negative. If this machine uses water, I know that he's not using it in the nether, meaning that he just came from the portal, probably belonging to this device. And within 15 minutes, just like that, I had found the device. And Pangy didn't suspect a thing. Oh, oh. What? The... What? Um, I am not geared. I am not geared. I am not geared. I'm about to die. <laughs> okay, I have to go now. Goodbye, Pangy. Clearly, Pangy knew this outcome was a possibility. And it turns out, if I do find the room, it automatically teleports him there. I had just screwed up big time, because now he can just move where he teleports to. But hope wasn't completely lost. The player I mentioned earlier still had his trust. So if we could get him to infiltrate for long enough, he could find the new teleporter. It frustrated me that this was out of my hands, but since it was, I sat back and worked on a base for a couple of hours. With only two days remaining we had to put all our trust in zam right. that's true, that's true. i'm getting the stuff for the stasis zam do you know how that works the whole stasis thing nope no idea do you want me to show it to you yeah sure it's pretty cool it should work see wow yeah so now that chunk okay. is constantly loaded in the overworld Zam had done it. He had found the location of the new teleporter. And if he's standing at that teleporter, he has nowhere to go. So as Zam messaged me, I gathered my teammates to go jump him once and for all. I don't know. He said he's totally running away. Oh, I think that's the tunnel to it. Nah, bro. No way. Chat. Dude. With Pangy getting off for the day, there was no way we could make it, making tomorrow our final day. Completely out of options, I challenged him to a four versus four duel. Winner keeps the crown. Little did Pangy know that when he got off, we were studying his machine. And it turns out, if you log off on the pressure plate and log back in, it won't automatically teleport him. Meaning that we didn't actually have to take the duel. Right before it started, we could all go to his machine and teleport him into a trap. And with this knowledge in mind, we didn't want to take any risks and didn't prepare for the duel. All we did was stand on the trap door and log out for the next day. As the final day began, we went to go check the stasis and realized that the pearl was set. Upon hearing this news, I immediately assumed that we won. So I went over to the stasis to jump Pangy once and for all. For the third time. But Zam! My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm standing on a pressure plate, by the way, like... I am about to 5v1. Oh, his pearl. He's here, he's here, he's here. Just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it. Sam. He's, he's stasis again. 
Yeah, he's a new one. At this moment, fear began to set in. Pengyi knew what we were doing and set a second stasis before we trapped him, which means that we have to participate in the duel. With no prior training and no team prepared, we were gonna have to fight some of the strongest players on the server. With 30 minutes until the duel, we started to panic. I feel like we might wanna target we can target Woogie because Woogie has different armor. While I was panicking though, my Twitch chat created a texture pack that gave everybody on my team unique armor. Our plan was to splash invis and go in and pray for the best. Hey, if we're betting on ourselves, then we'll completely double down. As we gathered our team in the last couple of minutes, we decided to go in there and at least put up a fight. And of course, they wanted to have a speech right before we did. And as they were talking, I wasn't even listening, because in that moment, I remembered why I was doing this. These are the people that claim to own the server. I'm not just doing this for me. I'm doing this for everybody except for them. If I die here, I don't just let down me, I let down all of my teammates. And with that in mind, I was not playing to lose anymore. Oh, they're potting, they're potting. Oh, they're, oh, potting. they're, they're potting. potting already. Hey, everyone come here. Okay. Oh, they're everyone, get over here. everyone get over here, everyone get over here, everyone get over here, everyone get over Well, yeah, you might be potted sure. up then. Oh, wait, I have a speed pot, so I don't know if you guys want to use that. Yeah, yeah use okay. it. Okay. Good. Are we running it? Yep, let's go. Uh, don't use it until you- Are we in Are we Yeah, yeah, we're gonna invis, but get, get them in a group. You guys ready? Yep, yeah, go, go, let's go, 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 go. Got it! Nice. We're not using invis, we're not invis. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my gosh, I can't nice. see anything. Get them. We're winning! Emerald Woogie's pants, running, Woogie pants, running, Woogie running. Emerald pants, Emerald pants. Okay, oh, Woogie popped, Woogie popped, Woogie popped. Try Guys, I'm getting, I'm getting 1v2, I'm getting 1v2. Yeah, I'm, coming, I'm coming to help, I'm coming to help. Oh, see, this is why we needed this, bro. Like, we knew exactly yeah. who Parrot was. Come on. This is red, I think. They're switching to Totem now. This is Clown, I'm on. Someone's bowing. Wait, I, I cannot tell the difference between subs and like. My, mine's like the, it's like a lighter purple. Mine's like a lighter you, purple. You you should be able to. You should be able to. Crap. I'm also holding totem, so. Oh, nice, good damage, guys. Wait, Pengy on me. They're fighting each other. They're fighting. <laughs> nah. Each other. That's crazy. Pengy was. Oh, I shifted at Pengy, bro. Oh, I see clown. I see clown. This is clown. Yeah, this is clown. clown. Diamond axe is clown. Diamond axe is clown. Yeah. Woogie's hitting him. Woogie's hitting him. <laughs> no. Nah, no. Nah. Woogie is cutting him out, bro. Our invis strat was working perfectly, and now I wasn't the only confident one. Our entire team knew we could do this. I've only had to use like three gapples. Me too, bro. I've used seven. <laughs> I'm a gapper. Nice pair. This is clown. Yeah. Disabled. Disabled. Oh, no, you never didn't. mind. Disabled. Disabled. Disabled them. Nice. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Come on, guys. I swear to God, yeah. Who's XPing already? Pengy. Someone's yeah, Pengy's already XPing. Huh. Oh, for some reason. Wait, one of them, one of them has bacon? the helmet off. Is that bacon? Yo, what? Get him. Who's no, I think armor. that's bacon. That's armor. bacon. Who is that? No way they have an extra member. No way. I'm pretty Who's sure that's bro? bacon. Dog. I'm pretty sure that's bacon. Where is he? Bring someone out. Grab out the person with no helmet. It's Pengy. It's Pengy. Pengy's Pengy. helmet Pengy. broke. Oh. Pengy took off the crown. Oh, I got him. Yes. yes! What? No way. The friendly fire dog. Wait, no, let me get a kill, let me get a kill. This is my, like, my whole arc. Oh, this is Aww. Nice. Nice stuff, good stuff, though, good stuff.